Welcome to our channel Get Cooking Now. Today we will show you a detailed step by step recipe to prepare some cute curly sweet bites that are crispy on the outside, soft and moist on the inside. They just melt in your mouth. Our recipe for today is Kalkals. Step 1 Preparing the ingredients. Take 2.5 cups or 300 grams of sieved all purpose flour or maida. Take half cup or 100 grams of fine semolina, also called rava or suji. 8 tablespoons or 100 grams of sugar powder. Sugar powder can be made at home by grinding sugar in a dry mixer. 4 teaspoons of thick extract of fresh coconut milk. Thick coconut milk can be extracted by grinding one freshly grated coconut with one cup of water and then straining the liquid. Put some pressure to squeeze out all the coconut milk from the ground coconut. You can also use dairy milk instead of coconut milk. 8 tablespoons or 100 grams of ghee or clarified butter which is slightly heated. 3 medium cardamoms or elaichi. This should be powdered without the skin. 1 egg. Step 2 Preparing the dough. In a mixing tray or bowl, take fine semolina, also called rava or suji. Add half the quantity of ghee or clarified butter. Mix until all the ghee is absorbed. Add the sieved all-purpose flour or maida. Add quarter teaspoon of salt. Ghee mixture should be properly mixed with all the flour. Add the remaining ghee or clarified butter. The ghee should be properly mixed with all the flour. Add the sugar powder. Add the cardamom or elaichi powder. Mix everything nicely. Make a well in the center. Whisk the egg and add. Mix everything properly. Now add 4 teaspoons of thick extract of fresh coconut milk. The dough should not be too soft nor too hard. Add little more coconut milk if needed to make a soft dough. Spend some time to massage the dough properly as you need to make a soft, pliable dough. Try and knead a slightly soft dough as the semolina will absorb water over time and make the dough firmer. Wrap the dough with a moist muslin or cotton cloth and keep it aside for one hour or else the dough will dry up. Step 3. Preparing the Kalkals Divide the dough into small portions and shape them into round balls. Sprinkle a little flour on the surface before placing the dough. Flatten each ball and roll it into a circle. Cut each circle into medium strips. and cut them into diamond shapes like we have shown. Now, 
If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, do subscribe and press the bell icon to receive a notification whenever we upload a new video. Use the back of a fork to make the kalkals. Press the dough firmly on the fork with your finger. Start rolling from the bottom till the tip of the fork and press lightly to seal the edge. A brand new comb or a kalkal roller can also be used to make the kalkals. If you found this recipe interesting, do press the like button and share your feedback in the comment section below. Kalkals can be made in various different shapes. Once kalkals are done, keep them covered under a moist cloth until they are fried. Now you can help us spread the love for Goan Cuisine. Give us a thumbs up if you like our videos and please share them with your friends and family so that they can also enjoy our detailed step-by-step -step Goan recipes. Step 4. Frying the Kalkals On medium heat in a wide open heavy bottom pan take sufficient cooking oil for deep frying. To test if the oil is hot Drop a small piece of dough, if it bubbles and comes to the surface quickly but doesn't burn immediately, the oil is ready for frying. Once the oil is hot, reduce the heat to medium low and add few kalkals. Start with the ones that were made first. Don't overcrowd the pan as the oil will bubble and spill over and it will also reduce the heat in the pan. Make sure to turn the kalkals often until they are golden brown in color. Once golden brown, remove the kalkals. Place the kalkals on paper napkins to soak the excess oil or you can also place them in a strainer. Similarly, fry the remaining kalkals. Sugar powder can be sprinkled on the kalkals when they are hot. Cool down the kalkals and then store them in an airtight container. Delicious, melt in your mouth, kalkals are ready. If you have any suggestions, questions or feedback, please write to us in the comments section as we would love to hear from you. Do let us know if you like this video and see you soon with another interesting Goan recipe. Check out our other interesting recipes and do subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.